I'm Eddie Field with Field Guide to DIY, and I want to introduce to you a very novel belt sander design from Jellas. Let's dive in. First off, the belt sander already comes with 10 belts of different grit. Has a dust collection bag. It also has the belt sander. Belt is already on there. Comes with a chute for the dust collection. Also comes with two C-clamps. That's one of the twists. So when we're comparing the Jellas or Helas, this guy to the Craftsman or the Beastie uh, Porter Cable. First thing we're gonna know is it's considerably lighter. The Craftsman has, has two speeds, on and off. The Porter Cable has two speeds. And off. The Halas has an on off, has an on off trigger, but has a speed setting. I'm going to start out at one, three, and six. Like the Craftsman and the Porter Cable, it has a trigger lock. Unlike the Craftsman and the Porter Cable, it has a dust chute. Now what the Porter Cable doesn't have is a flat surface for you to set it on the bench. That's gonna tip all day long. If you tried to sand something with two hands, that's gonna scoot all over the place. At least the Craftsman has a flat spot, but there's no way to lock it down. I guess there is if you used these notch outs. However, like I said, the Halas or Jellas comes with two C-clamps. The C-clamps actually fit in there and allow you to secure the belt sander to the tabletop. Let me demonstrate. Now we can turn it on and lock it in place. It's set to six. Let's take it down to five, three. Now to change the belt, simply release the tension, pull off the belt, replace the belt, making sure that the arrows go over the top. You can see this is an 80 grit belt. Put it in position and lock it down. Now use the wheel on the side to adjust where the belt rides. So, if you're in the market for a variable speed multi-purpose belt sander, you might want to consider Jellas or Helas. I'll have a link in the description below. I'm Eddie Field with Field Guide to DIY. Thanks for watching.